Hi everybody, it's Claire here with a quick how-to video um, to show you how I make these um, fun little covers for the magnetic closures on my albums. I decided I'd got fed up with the bumps that the magnets leave, so I've come up with an idea to hide them and make a decorative closure um, that suits my projects. So, moving the album out of the way, we have got... Um, I'm going to create a little pocket, but it could just be a flap on your page. And I've already cut the paper to cover the front of the pocket. So that's those two pieces. And then I've just got a black card base. It could be any size to suit your project. And it's scored so that it folds up um, like a little envelope. And then I've used a three quarter of an inch punch and a quarter inch punch to make some circles. So I've made four washers by punching out the quarter inch circle first and then punching the three quarter inch circle around it. And then there are two full three quarter inch circles that go with each set. And what you do is stick the four washers together so that you get a thick washer and you stick that onto one black circle. Like that. And just leave that to dry. And then while that's drying, before you put, um, let's just leave that over there. So before you start adding the magnets, I'm going to put the paper on the top section of my pocket piece. So I've already inked the edges and shaped the corners. I love the paper I'm using is from the Midnight Masquerade collection by Graphic 45. I love it. I love the turquoise and the purple. So I'm just going to stick that in place and line it up. No, it won't move. Oh, now it's moved too far. I've already put a ribbon around the top of my little pocket and added the doodads on the end. <laughs> And then onto that, I'm going to stick one black circle, but I'm only going to stick it half on, half off in the centre so that it sticks out. So I'm just eyeballing the centre, but you could measure yours. And then we need a pencil and a new... Oh, here's a pen. Here's a pen. A pencil or a pen. So then you fold up your little pocket and just on the card, it's going to be covered, so it doesn't matter, just draw around that bottom part of your circle and lift up and that gives you a nice shape, ready to stick one magnet down. And you could do that with a little bit of glue and leave it to dry if you wanted to. And your aim is to stick the magnet right in the middle of that circle that you've drawn. So you could just leave it like that, sitting to dry, or um, you could use a piece of tape. I'm just going to use a little bit of our black construction tape just to hold it in place. Like that. And then you can stick your bottom piece of paper in place with the magnet trapped underneath it. So a quick squiggle of the old glue. The glue I'm using is um, just Hobbycraft glue. It's a real cheap and cheerful glue, really sticky. I use it in all my projects and um, it's available from our website. Stick that piece of paper in place 
magnet is trapped and then close down your pocket take your second magnet I don't use north or south magnets I just use magnets <laughs> Um, they will automatically attract to each other, like that, somewhat. And then you take your washer with your black cover on and just hook it over the magnet, but you want to put glue on the underside so that it traps that top magnet in place. press it down. Once you've got that together you can lift your top flap up, clean off any excess glue, press everything together and then you have made your really funky little closure and created a tab as well. And once all the glue dries that tab is quite um, sturdy and then you can add a little paper circle onto the top, a little bit of glossy accents and a little bit of glitter if you want to blink up your element to finish. Like that, and let's get the glossy accents. So if I add the glossy accents, I just add it so that it covers just the paper but I put quite a lot in the centre so that it makes a really lovely button when it's all dry. Like that. And then just put it to one side and leave it to dry. And also I, I do the same on the doodads. So just a little bit of glossy accents. And leave it to dry. And that's it. That's how I've created all my um, magnetic closures in... Um, some of my latest projects. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Have fun if you create them yourself on your projects. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with all my new projects as they come out. Thanks for watching.